How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and the new collections keep on coming as we have got the Champions League starter pack uh, for the new sticker collection for the 23-24 uh, season. Uh, this one is from Tops, obviously the official sticker collection of the UEFA Champions League. And if you watched the, uh, the Premier League one, you will notice that I ripped off the top of the starter pack in pure excitement. I've started doing it again, but I managed to catch myself this time. So we've got one album in here, there is two packs of eight stickers to start us off. Uh, but what we get uh, now is there's all new players for, for the, uh, the album. Uh, standout superstars, magic moments, uh, classic star balls. So that is the, that's the balls from, from, from Champions League's uh, past and present. Um, we've got uh, new features, so new uh, Champions League and Women's Champions League team of the season, uh, the star ball history stickers as we said, uh, new memories that stick classic moments, uh, new memories that stick classic moment stickers, sorry, uh, new vote for the GOAT 11 interactive fan stickers, there's mega signing stickers and uh, ultra rare sequentially numbered parallel impact um, stickers as well, so that is there, that's a one there, if I can get it closer to the to the camera, there's one there for Jude Bellingham. Uh, I mean, the definition of impact uh, this season uh, for Real Madrid. So we'll just get we'll just get cracked in now. The the Champions League uh, the Champions League binders have always been has always been meaty, very very like they've always been been quite chunky uh, to say the least. So. Uh, this is no different. This is this is a this is a huge one. Uh, so we open up very nice, a uh, very nice sort of almost minimalist, but very uh, you know this is yes, this is the elite of football uh, getting getting looked at right here. So we have uh, the tops logo, the trophy, and the respect logo, the UEFA respect logo to begin with, and then there is the teams that have qualified for the Champions League all the way down to Braga. So um, they're in alphabetical order to a certain point, and then you get to your. Uh, uh, Copenhagen, I think young boys might be for uh, why young boys, um, uh, but they potentially this is your your playoff teams here as well. I know that Antwerp certainly were a playoff team, but we'll just go through. So there is your team of the season as selected by UEFA's technical observers. So you've got the um, the men's Champions League and then the women's Champions League there, and that's possible going to be your trophies down there as well, or potentially your winners. Uh, who knows? But there we go to AC Milan starting off. Um, so it looks as if, thank you Tops for listening. This is going to, it looks as if these are going to back to square, to, to, to rectangular um, stickers. The, the, the shield style stickers caused me nothing but problems over the uh, the last two years uh, trying to get them in straight. There's Arsenal back in the Champions League. There's Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, uh, Celtic there. We've got Barcelona playing at the Olympic Stadium this year as the Camp Nou is getting refurbished. Uh, the Fußball Arena München, obviously, uh, can't call it the Allianz Arena for... Uh, um, for sponsorship reasons, uh, Estadio Dragao, uh, Estadio in Salzburg again for sponsorship reasons, even though they're called, well it's FC Salzburg in this one I suppose, um, yeah, UEFA always, always up on the, uh, there's Union Berlin playing at the Olympic Stadium, obviously because their, their stadium's not uh, fit for purpose for, for the Champions League, but yes, uh, UEFA uh, always up and up with the, um, with the, sort of the, the hard hitting, you know, be gone with like racism. No, no, it's not a problem. But we've got to, we've got to make sure that uh, Bayern Munich can't call their stadium the Allianz Arena in, in the Champions League. For goodness' sake. Um, so there is uh, Manchester United. We've got Newcastle United, Paris Saint Germain, uh, RB Leipzig, uh, RC Lyon, Real Madrid. Uh, as we go through all these ones here, there's Sociedad, Sevilla. We have got Benfica, we have got Lazio, and we have got the Italian champions, Napoli. Uh, young Boys of Bern, uh, Copenhagen, uh, Galatasaray, PSV Eindhoven. Uh, we've got Royal Antwerp, and this is going to be the last one. I believe it is Braga. So then we move on after that. So we have got, uh, so uh, was it last year or a couple of years ago, they had these stickers in, which was the sort of the posters for uh, the, 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 the Champions League finals. Um, this time we're going to have the balls for the Champions League finals as well, including the one that has uh, the, 20, the 2002 final in Glasgow. Sorry, that's not in shot there. I'll get it back in shot. 
uh, the twenty the two thousand and two Champions League final in Glasgow, the ball that was that scored that left the left boot of Zinedine Zidane to score the best goal that I think I have ever seen in my life. Certainly the best goal I've ever seen take place at Hamden Park, which to be honest, not a, a not a not a large hurdle to not a large hurdle to climb, to be honest, after seeing some of the Scotland games over the years. Then we've got the memories that stick and there is there is the, the pride of place in this one. The Zinedine Zidane goal. I will I will I will lose I would potentially lose some bodily functions when I see when I see that sticker come out because that is I still I can see it in my mind's eye. I remember exactly where I was watching it. I remember knowing straight away that I have just witnessed greatness seeing that goal. So there's a fair there is a fair few of them uh, memories that stick. So that goes up to to number seven hundred and six. Then we've got the mega signings. So these are going to be. Um, uh, are these going to be regular stickers? Are these going to be update stickers? Who knows? Because uh, we've got like Jude Bellingham, so that is going to be. I mean, Jude Bellingham has been at Real Madrid for for a while now, so I don't imagine that's going to be in an update. And then you've got vote for the goat at the back there, so these might be uh, as voted by tops collectors. So this is potentially going to be something that comes out later on in the in, in the year. Potentially, I'm I'm not quite I'm not quite sure there. And then there is the. Um, the UEFA Youth League seen the Alkmaar eh, beat Hadjik Split in the final of the UEFA Youth League to take their first European title, number 741, which will be the last sticker that we put in. So this is going to be a monster, monster collection. So, eh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be excellent. So there is your, this is your parallel. So you've got a eh, first, eh, first a uh, sticker parallel sequentially numbered oh you only get them in gold sequentially numbered up to 250 you get your next gen first stickers again only sequentially numbered up to first 60 you then have your impact parallels which gold there is no number but then there's winter green which are sequentially numbered up to uh, 299 and then this looks as if it's just uh, oh no it's it's the rest of them so it's your impact parallels are 299 for winter green, and then you're going down the way. Power purple, sunset orange, hot pink, glacier blue, ruby red, black diamond, silver pearl, and then platinum. Going down two fifty, one hundred, all the way down to a one of one. So that is the album that we will be filling again. Hopefully, the well, we'll be filling that sooner rather than later. But tops did give us two packs to get us started. So eight stickers in each of these packs here. So let's get going with this one. We start off with a super striker there for Olivier Giroud. We've got Jurgen Inkelkamp uh, there uh, for, that looks as if it's for Alkmaar. Uh, is it for Alkmaar? That's Royal Antwerp. I do apologise. Of course, it says Antwerp right on his jersey. I'll need to uh, keep an eye out for that one. But these stickers look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got Jan uh, Giacomo Raspadori. We've got the uh, Munich 2012 final ball, the, the ball that Didier Drogba scored the winning penalty with. Uh, we've got David Raum. We have got, uh, oh, there, there's, a, there's a moment that stuck there with a very young Steven Gerrard uh, for the Istanbul final. There is the final in Berlin, which is going to be, uh, that was in 2015, uh, Barcelona. I think that was the one that Barcelona beat Juventus in. And then we have got uh, a Galeno. Uh, that's an impact parallel. That is an impact that is an impact, there we go, that is an impact sticker, an impact of nine, of 82, it's not the parallel, but it is one of the impact stickers there, it is Galeno, there, so there we go, there we go, so that's what the impact sticker's going to look like, uh, so we'll keep an eye out for them, so here we go, and I have answered, I have got an answer to one of the questions, the vote for the GOAT starts uh, as part of the base set because there we have got one of the stickers. It is Cristiano Ronaldo. And look at that. That is absolutely stunning. That is one of the nicest stickers I think I have ever seen. It's got it's got Ronaldo's signature on it. It's got the black and white background. It's got the laurels on there. It's oh it's just that is one of the nicest stickers I think I've ever seen in in, in, in collecting. Um Oh, yes, so I'm going to look forward to getting them, more of them, please. Then we've got Julian Ryerson for uh, Bayern, uh, Bayern uh, Borussia Dortmund, excuse me. Uh, another moment to stick, um, uh, Ozil's wonder goal against Luda Goretz from a, oh, it's a fair few years back now. Um, it just, it, it, I mean, it takes on the whole team, really. We've got Yaroslav Rosicki, 
Um, we have got uh, Thomas Bielen for Feyenoord, a next-gen Christian Alsani for Inter Milan. We have got uh, Amanqua Forsen for Salzburg. And we finish off with a mega signing, uh, confirmed, not an update set this year. It is Rice Rice Babies, 116.6 million euros, worth every single penny. It is Declan Rice for the Arsenal. So there is two epic, epic stickers to finish us off there. I am... Uh, just seen the just seen the twelve stick or the sixteen stickers, excuse me, that we've got here. I am going to really. I mean, I can already tell. I am going to love collecting this, uh, collecting for this um, album this year. So the road to collection starts now. Hopefully, it's uh, finished sooner or later, as we said. But uh, if it's going to take us longer and we get to pull loads of these stickers, um, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not going to be bothered. Um, but. That's it for this one. Um, as I say, the road to collection starts now and I thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel um, or like if you are watching on a different one and that is the terminal, a different platform and that is the terminology they use over there. Uh, but either way, please uh, follow along however you can and you'll see more of these as and when they drop. Um, so all that remains to be said at this time is thank you all very much for watching. As I say, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Happy collecting, and I'll see you in the next one.